good Tuesday morning. There's some new people in our church. They never seem to stop doing good. Whenever I see them, they're washing dishes, praying, fixing something, doing some other kind act. They give generously to the work of the church, and they just do all these things with enthusiasm. I'm always encouraged when I see them doing good. In our society, being a do-gooder has become an insult. In the book of Acts, Luke records that Jesus went around doing good, and it was said as a compliment. Today's passage is about do-gooders, Titus chapter 3. Remind them to be submissive to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready for every good work, to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle, and to show perfect courtesy toward all people. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by others, and hating one another. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, He saved us not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to His own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom He poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that being justified by His grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Back in the 80s, when I was still a youth pastor, we sang this passage with zeal. It's not by works of righteousness that I have done, but only by His mercy He has saved me. Doing good is a response to God's love for us. And since God has been so kind to us, we should pay it forward in kindness to others. Out of his kindness and love, God has not only forgiven us, he's given us his Holy Spirit. The message version of this passage says, he gave us a good bath and we came out of it new people, washed inside and out by the Holy Spirit. Our Savior Jesus poured out new life so generously, God's gift has restored our relationship with him and given us back our lives. It's the Holy Spirit that helps us, that enables us to do good. We must be ready to do whatever is good, to slander no one, to be peaceable and considerate, and to show true humility towards everyone. Several times in this chapter, Paul urges them to devote themselves to doing what is good. Doing good is all about our relationships with other people. Paul's encouraging an other-focused mindset, a a life that's rooted in humility, truthfulness, and consideration for others. While love should be our motivation to serve, sometimes serving others teaches us to love them. You live out what you believe in front of a watching world. If we are lazy and unproductive, it's going to be noticed. You are to reflect the kindness and the love of God as you do good. Not by words of righteousness.